Inquisitor. Scout Harding. We're on the outskirts of Sarnia. This is what's left of the town. The lucky ones got out before the river froze over. The rest, penned in by Fade Rifts and Red Templars. We're the first friendly face they've seen in a long, long while. How did an entire river freeze so quickly? It got really cold, really quickly. Sarnia relies on its river for everything. Trade, food... They weren't expecting this. Do you know why the Red Templars have come here? Can't tell you much. The Templars have outposts all through the hills. Our scouts haven't been able to get through. It probably has something to do with the local stone quarry, though. A lot of the workers went missing after the Red Templars moved in. I should look in on the townsfolk, see what they can tell me. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. The Red Templars have been mounting frequent attacks. They won en plus du Lyon. Bad. Let's get out there and take it back from them. Word for you. What is it? This may be worthwhile. Clumsy girl. Mama trusted the ring to you when she died. Now the Templars will get it bad, Templars. Demons will trust it. They'll find the ring. Stupid girl, how can you? Day to you. That was generous of you. I do what I can. I am partly to blame for all this. The Red Templars are here because, fool that I am, I sold them my family's quarry. They've taken every worker. We haven't seen them in weeks. And it's not enough. They keep coming, taking more people. And there's nothing I can do to stop them. How could you have sold land to the Red Templars? I didn't know. I swear by Andrasre's buyer. They looked like knights, chevaliers. Such pretty speeches. They said they would reopen the quarry, bring employment and trade back to Sanya. We'd been struggling since the war began. How could I refuse? It was good for a time. People went to work, they were paid. Then they stopped coming home. After that, the Red Templars stopped pretending. What do you mean the Red Templars take workers? People just disappear. First those who worked the quarry, then they took people from their homes. I don't know why. I just prayed they'd leave me and my family alone. You're eyeing Bianca, Buttercup. She's taken. That thing is too complicated. Lots to break. She's a particular lady, but the rewards more than match the effort. That means you agree, but don't want her to know. But she's just a thing. Someone's jealous. She has that effect. 
Someone's an ass. You, you're an ass. clear. These red lyrium growths are warm. I'd rather be cold than touch that stuff.
here. Seriously, Buttercup, nothing about the way you run things could possibly work. They work. They've done more. This is just... what I do. Well, what you do doesn't make sense. Oh, yeah? Well, you don't make sense either. <sighs> Should I push, or am I just setting myself up for... your face doesn't make sense? You're... shut it! to be something here.
I think Blackwall would have liked to have been here for this. I think Blackwall would have liked to have been here for this. about you chuckles your boundless optimism it's comforting that whatever qualities i lack you'll invent for me varic no really why else would an elven apostate help crazy chantry folk close a hole in the sky when you put it like that i must concede your point
about Lyrium. I wonder how far this corruption has spread. be able to rebuild this. There's a corpse in this Lyrian. It's interesting. The Red Templars sped its creation by growing it from the dead.
why you're so small. I know way more people than you. Quality over quantity. Winner over loser.
the hero arrives. But is it hero or murderer? It's so hard to tell. Who are you? Call me Imshael. You're a demon. Ahem. Choice spirit. Don't talk to it, just friggin' kill it! Wait, wait, wait! These are your friends? They're very violent. It's worrying. True to my name, I will show you that you have a choice. It doesn't always have to end in blood. Talk. Yeah, that uh, never ends well. Simple. We don't fight, and I grant you power. Shower you with riches. Or maybe virgins. Your pick. Then we all live happily ever after. Well, not all of us. But who's counting? No. You die, demon. Alpha. Choice? Spirit! If you won't be smart, be afraid. Finally gone. Ah, uh, shit. Delirium has taken hold. He doesn't have long. Why was the demon here, working with the Red Templars? A garden needs a gardener. Nurturing gentle hands. Directing the change. Not too fast. Not too slow. Just right. Has to be... Just right. I get it. Too fast, and you end up a statue in the gallows courtyard. Well, I may be sick. There's nothing I can do for you. I'm sorry. Imshael. He said he could take the red out. If I said yes. Imshael could have saved you. He liked to watch the agony. He liked to play. We were his garden. Consent and live. <laughs> Deny 
and be consumed. Oh, but what he wanted... No. Anything but that. I chose the red. I chose... Baron Edouard Desjardins of Leeds. I am pleased to meet you. Ambassador Montillier speaks highly of you. You seem to know Josephine quite well. Oh, yes. Yves Montillier, Josephine's father, is an old friend. We used to hunt together. I watched her grow up, you know. Such a clever girl. <laughs> She could charm wolves to dance with hares. I am gratified to see the Inquisition has not overlooked her talents. What is your role here, Baron? Oh, well, the Ambassador entrusted me with handling the Inquisition's enterprise in the Dales. Much of our efforts are concentrated on rebuilding, eradicating threats, reopening trade routes and such. And of course, I will oversee the forging of relations with the nobles of Southern Orlais. Any news, Baron? Scouts report you have seen the collapsed bridge at Judicale's crossing. We are trying to secure resources to rebuild it. Reinforcements from Skyhold will hasten this. I shall take my leave. Have you looked everywhere? They took so many of us! Have you looked everywhere? They took so 
so many of us. A note from Samson about spreading Red Lyrium. Have you looked everywhere? They took so many of us! Locks, please. Have you freed everyone?
help me. You don't seem well. What's wrong? The red crystals. I can feel them. At the tips of my fingers beneath my nails, under my eyes. I know what happens. I... I have a letter for my love. Would you place it in the hollow of the marked tree by the river? When he returns from the war, he'll know to look there. Let him hate me and move on. Break the locks, please! Us. They'll turn us into those things. Are all the cages open? us into those things you saved us we can all go home now You lied. You knew what the Red Templars were doing, but you took their gold and stayed silent. Yes, I took their gold. Gold and any supplies they would give. Also, we could live. 
There are many orphans in Sarnia. Who protected them when their parents were lost? We couldn't run, not with the river frozen and the demons. If I had said anything, they would have killed me too. So I let them take people, and prayed that one day, someone like you would come destroy them. All we could do was survive till that day. Now it's come, hasn't it? I was right. People were taken, infected with Red Lyrium because of your actions. What else could I do? Take up the old pitchfork to fight? Those who died would have died regardless. This way at least some survived. I saw what those Templars did to the others. If you hadn't freed us, I might have been next. I found your confession. You killed Lynette's brother. No. It... It was an accident. He was going to take everything. You mustn't tell, Lynette. Let her believe the war killed Gard. Gard was her brother. She deserves to know the truth. I was going to die. Now we have a chance to start over. Please, I beg you. What else do you want? Louis wrote this confession. He killed your brother. No, that can't be. God is fighting in the war. He enlisted with the Empress's army. I'd like to be alone. Please, Lee. Why did you have to tell her? We could have been happy. Why are you here? Haven't you done enough? Michel de Chavan at your service, your worship. I saw the Inquisition's banners from afar. Never expected to see the Herald of Andraste herself. Are you here to guard the people? As much as I can, although this was not my original intention. I hunt a demon. This one calls itself Imshael, and has settled in Suladin Keep, up in the hills. Imshael is free because I made a mistake. I will see him destroyed. Now that the Inquisition is here, perhaps the Red Templars who guard the keep can be routed. All I need is one chance. I need to know more about Imshael. A desire demon, more cunning than anything I have encountered. And I have played the game. Imshael has roamed the land for some time. If anything, he will have grown in power. Why he is here in Empris de Lyon, however, is anyone's guess. Perhaps he has gained the cooperation of the Red Templars, or vice versa. What's in Suladin Keep? Red Templars, so far as I can tell. Suladin is an elven fortress, left to crumble. The locals always avoided it, believing it the haunt of ancient elven spirits. You know where the demon is. Why wait? I am but one man. Suladin Keep is guarded by Red Templars. While I would happily give my life for this, I would not give it in vain. The demon you seek has been vanquished. You defeated him, Shale. I hunt the creature for months and you walk in and kill him without a second thought. No, I... I should be glad. Imshale is gone and that is all that matters. Not who struck the killing blow. I must move on. There will be others like Imshale. I will find them and destroy them. Mistress Pullen of Sarnia is accused of aiding and abetting the Red Templars in the Dales. She sold a quarry to them for a handsome sum. They used the quarry to grow Red Lyrium by enslaving townspeople. The only extenuating circumstance, Mistress Pullen was procuring supplies to keep the remaining townspeople fed. 
If you'd like to explain your intentions, speak. My crime was misjudgment. The land sale was meant to bring prosperity in hard times. Yet you kept taking coin from the Red Templars, even after you realized what they'd done to the people. Why not? It bought food for the ones remaining. Isn't that enough? You question whether greed or necessity led me. Tell me which you weigh me for. Mistress Poulin, you will spend all your ill-earned money rebuilding the town of Sarnia. If the townspeople forgive you, your debt to them is paid. Your Worship, I will do my best to repair what I have done. Something here. Let's look around.
With an Illuvion, Corypheus could cross into the Fade in the flesh. Indeed, the Inquisitor can attest that these artifacts still work, if one knows how to use them. What happens when Corypheus enters the Fade? Why, he will gain his heart's desire and take the power of a god. Or, and this is more likely, the lunatic will unleash forces that tear the world apart. I won't allow it. I can't. Indeed, should Corypheus succeed, do not doubt you would be first to feel his holy wrath. Pardon me, but does this mean everything's lost unless we get to the Alluvian before him? Corypheus has a head start, no matter how quickly our army moves. We should gather our allies before we march. Can we wait for them? We should send our spies ahead to the Arbor Wilds. Without support from the soldiers? You'd lose half of them. Then what should we do? You overcome it. All three of you together. Josephine, have our allies send scouts to meet us in the wilds. Leliana, your fastest agents will join them. Together, we'll have enough spies to slow down Corypheus's army until Cullen's soldiers arrive. <laughs> Such confidence. But the Arbor Wilds are not so kind to visitors. Old elven magic lingers in those woods. We'd be remiss to not take advantage of your knowledge, Lady Morgan. Please, lend us your expertise. Here's why I came here. Although it is good to see its value recognized. Any further instructions, Inquisitor? The Inquisition began as a handful of soldiers. Thanks to you, we're now a force that will topple a self-proclaimed god. I could ask for no finer counsel, no better guidance. I speak for all of us when I answer. We could ask for no finer cause. We'll hound Corypheus in the wilds before he can find the temple or this Illuvion. Inquisitor. How goes the battle, Captain? The Red Templars fall beneath our blades, Your Worship. Commander Cullen says they're nearly finished. Our scouts saw Corypheus traveling towards an elven ruin to the north. We can clear you a path through his armies. Do only what you must. We need enough people for a celebration when we get back to Skyhold. We will not fail you, my lady, no matter what comes. Andraste guide you, Inquisitor. I wonder, is it Andraste your soldiers invoke during battle, or does a more immediate name come to their lips?
They show me respect, Morrigan. No one mistakes me for the Maker. True. You are far more likely to come to their aid than a Chantry fable. But I digress. If your scouts report accurately, I believe these ruins to be the Temple of Mathal. Which is? A place of worship out of elven legend. If Corypheus seeks it, then the alluvian he covets lies within. Let us hope we reach this temple before the entire forest is reduced to ash. Your faith in your commander. triumphant with the chosen of Andres. If the soldiers aren't careful with their fires, they'll do Corypheus's work for him. Come on, let's go plug some assholes. One last push and we can lick our wounds. I wonder if Corypheus will show. Do you sense the magic crackling? Something more powerful than the Red Templars stirs. Grey Wardens. They must be the last of those enslaved at Adamant. A most inglorious end. Still, if these puppet Wardens show no mercy, neither can we.
There. That must be the Temple of Mithal. I hear fighting ahead. Namelana Sobanale. They still think to fight us, Master. These are but remnants. They will not keep us from the Well of Sorrows. Well of Sorrows? Be honored. Witness death at the hands of a new god. At last, Mathal's sanctum. Let us proceed before Corypheus interferes. Why is Lumpy after a sorrow well or whatever? Weren't we after some Ponzi mirror? I am uncertain of what he referred to. Could they be the same? Could Illuvian translate into Well of Sorrows? No. It seems an Alluvian is not the prize Corypheus seeks. Yes, I was wrong. Does that please you? Whatever the Well of Sorrows might be, Corypheus seeks it, and thus you must keep it from his grasp. Let's find this well before Corypheus' people do. I want to know how Corypheus returned to life. We saw him die and his life force passes on to any blighted creature, Darkspawn, or Grey Warden. So that's how the bastard survived, Hawk. We'll find a way to stop Corypheus once... It appears the temple's magics are still strong. Is this elven? Does it say anything about this Well of Sorrows? Atishol via Abalasan. It means enter the path of the Well of Sorrows. There is something about knowledge, respectful or pure. Shivan. Shivanen. Tis all I can translate. That it mentions the well is a good omen. At least we know the Well of Sorrows was important. Supplicants to Mathal would have first paid obeisance here. Following their path may aid entry. Oh, no. This is bad. Rituals 
are bad. You can't want this. If need be, unless you wish to turn back. Do not step any place you have stepped before. There can be no vacillation. This is where petitioners walked the path of their gods. It is where they paid fealty to the gods. I have seen it in the Fade. Only the Reverend were permitted to touch this ground, and only in solemn contemplation. I see the Red Templars have already encountered the Temple's guardians. Anything good on them? Rummage their corpses by all means. Why would this be here? Something wrong. It depicts the dread wolf, Fen Harel. In elven tales, he tricks their gods into sealing themselves away in the beyond for all time. Setting Fen Harel in Mathal's greater sanctum is as blasphemous as painting Andraste naked in the Chantry. You're not the final expert on these ancient things. No one can be. There must be reason behind the mysteries. I refuse to believe we cannot tease them out. For all your knowledge, Lady Morrigan, you cannot resist giving legend the weight of history. The wise... Hold them off! We might catch them. Hold a moment. While they rush ahead, this leads to our true destination. We should walk the petitioner's path as before. Right, slow down. Give the baddies a chance. That's fair and dumb. If we're going in, let's get in. Jump already. In this case, I must agree with the witch. This is ancient ground, deserving of our respect. You see the urgency? We cannot find the Well of Sorrows unprepared. We don't know what's behind those doors. They might have a reason for going another way. Had they the option, they would have proceeded. That must lead to their goal. Their goal? Or yours? There is... a danger to the natural order. Legends walked Thedas once, things of might and wonder. Their passing has left us all the lesser. Corypheus would squander the ancient power of the well. I would have it restored. I wasn't expecting your answer to be so romantic. Trust me. Your surprise is matched only by my own. <sighs> Mankind blunders through the world, crushing what it does not understand. Elves, dragons, magic. The list is endless. We must stem the tide or be left with nothing more than the mundane. This I know to be true. I read more in the first chamber than I revealed. 
It's said a great boon is given to those who use the Well of Sorrows, but at a terrible price. What exactly did that altar say about the Well of Sorrows? Like most elven writing, it was insufferably vague. The term I deciphered was Halam Shivanas, the sweet sacrifice of duty. It implies the loss of something personal for duty's sake, yet for those who served at this temple, a worthwhile trade. Did you not trust me enough to tell me about this price when you read it? I hoped to find more information. If I intended to cheat you, I would have feigned ignorance entirely. My priority is your cause, but if the opportunity arises to save this well, I am willing to pay the cost. And gain what? That is what we must discover. The rituals may point the way. Time to proceed to the next ritual, I should think. Will you abandon these rituals, Inquisitor? Think carefully. There is no return once we leap after the Templars.
ritual is complete. We are close. There is but one more path to follow. Now. Come, let us see if the doors have opened. Is not what I expected. What was this chamber used for? Hmm. We're being watched. Venavis. You are unlike the other invaders. You stumble down our paths at the side of one of our own. You bear the mark of magic, which is... familiar. How has this come to pass? What is your connection to those who first disturbed our slumber? They are my enemies, as well as yours. I am called Abelas. We are sentinels, tasked with standing against those who trespass on sacred ground. We wake only to fight, to preserve this place. Our numbers diminish with each invasion. I know what you seek. Like all who have come before you, you wish to drink from the Vera Belasan. The place of the Way of Sorrows. He speaks of the well. It is not for you. It is not for any of you. What is this Virabalasan exactly? It is a path, one walked only by those who toiled in Mithal's favor. He speaks of priests, perhaps. More than that, you need not know. So, your elves from ancient times, before the Tevinter Imperium destroyed Arlathan? The Shemlin did not destroy Arlathan. We Elven warred upon ourselves. By the time the doors to this sanctuary closed, our time was over. We awaken only when called, and each time find the world more foreign than before. It is meaningless. We endure. The Vera Belisan must be preserved. Solus, perhaps he'll listen to you. What shall I say, Inquisitor? Shall I sway him from a millennia of service by virtue of our shared blood? He clings to all that remains of his world because he lacks the power to restore it. We did not come here to fight you, nor to steal from your temple. I believe you. Trespassers you are, but you have followed rites of petition. You have shown respect to Mithal. If these others are enemies of yours, we will aid you in destroying them. When this is done, you shall be permitted to depart, and never return. This is our goal, is it not? There is no reason to fight these Sentinels. Consider carefully. You must stop Corypheus, yes, but you may also need the well for your own. I accept your offer. You will be guided to those you seek. As for the Vera Belasan, it shall not be despoiled, even if I must destroy it myself. No! Morrigan! Left someone behind. A handy guide, maybe. Mytholan asked. That's helpful. 
since Morrigan chased off on her own. She seeks to protect the Well of Sorrows. This place looks untouched. Penshra, Gilas Velathan. I believe she would prefer that we remain close. Just a quick look around. Sentinels are holding off the Red Templars. Glad we're not between them. Good for something, I guess, if they keep it up. Abalas gave us his word. Well, good for Dusty Butt. Vir Sumil. Can anyone translate? I'll try. <clears throat> Can you talk like us? Deltash! Never mind.
well of sorrows. So Mazal endures. Tough bastards. A day's march, hours of fighting, and still fierce as dragons. The Chantry never knew what it was throwing away. Samson, sir, watch out! Inquisitor, you and those elf things don't know when to stop. We come to the back end of nowhere, and here you are. What are you doing here, Samson? Following his orders. Corypheus chose me twice. First as his general, now as the vessel for the Well of Sorrows. You know what's inside the well? Wisdom. The kind of wisdom that can scour a world. I give it to Corypheus, that he can walk into the Fade without your precious anchor. What's your part in it? What's a vessel? What else empties a well? I'll carry its power to Corypheus. One more task entrusted to me. Being force-fed Chantry Lyrium was good for something. This armor makes me a living fortress, mind and body. I won't forget a word of the well's knowledge. Corypheus will be unstoppable. Once Corypheus is that powerful, you and your soldiers will just slow him down. Is that the best you could do? You're no match for Corypheus. Even if you drink from the well, you'll never master its wisdom as he could. This is the strength the Chantry tried to bind. But it's a new world now. With a new god. I will bring Corypheus the well's power and your head. All at once. To arms! <laughs> Yes. You mustn't. <laughs> Still alive, huh? That's some damn good armor. We can take him back to Skyhold for judgment. You heard his parting words, Inquisitor. The Elf seeks to destroy the Well of Sorrows. So the Sanctum is despoiled at last. You would have destroyed the Well yourself, given the chance. To keep it from your grasping fingers. Better it be lost than bestowed upon the undeserving. Fool. 
You'd let your people's legacy rot in the shadows. Samson thought the world's knowledge was valuable. It could help stop Corypheus. I care nothing for your petty conflicts, Shemlin. You'll care when Corypheus arrives for the well. The well clearly offers power, Inquisitor. If that power can be turned against Corypheus, can you afford not to use it? Do you even know what you ask? As each servant of Mithal reached the end of their years, they would pass their knowledge on through this. All that we were, all that we knew, it would be lost forever. Look around you. Everything your people were, it's already gone. It is. There are other places, friend, other duties. Your people yet linger. Elven such as you? Yes, such as I. You have shown respect to Mithal, and there is a righteousness in you I cannot deny. Is that your desire? To partake of the Vera Belasan as best you can? To fight your enemy? Not without your permission. One does not obtain permission. One obtains the right. The Vera Belasan may be too much for a mortal to comprehend. Brave it if you must, but know you this. You shall be bound forever to the will of Mithal. Bound to a goddess who no longer exists, if she ever did. Bound as we are bound. The choice is yours. Is it possible this Mithal might still exist? Anything is possible. Elven legend states that Mithal was tricked by Fen Harel and banished to the beyond. Elven legend is wrong. The Dread Wolf had nothing to do with her murder. Murder? I, I said nothing of. She was slain, if a god truly can be, betrayed by those who destroyed this temple. Yet the Virabella San remains, as do we. That is something. Are you leaving the temple? Our duty ends. Why remain? There is a place for you, Letheline, if you seek it. Perhaps there are places the Shemlin have not touched. It may be that only Uthenera awaits us. The blissful sleep of eternity never to awaken, if fate is kind. You could come with us. Fight Corypheus. He killed your people. We killed ourselves long ago. Malas Amali Nahalam Abalas. His name, Abalas, means sorrow. I said, I hoped he finds a new name. You'll note the intact Illuvian. I was correct on that count, at least. Is it still a threat? Can Corypheus use it to travel the Fade? You recall when I took you through my Illuvian, I said each required a key? The well is the key. Take its power, and Mathal's last Illuvian will be no more use to Corypheus than glass. I did not expect the well to feel so... hungry. Let's not be reckless. I don't want anyone hurt. I am willing to pay the price the well demands. I am also the best suited to use its knowledge in your service. Or more likely to your own ends? What would you know of my ends, Elf? 
You are a glutton drooling at the sight of a feast. You cannot be trusted. Of those present, I alone have the training to make use of this. Let me drink, Inquisitor. You're not concerned about the price. Bound forever to the will of Mithal. Bound to the will of a dead god? It seems an empty warning. Perhaps a compulsion yet remains. Who can say otherwise? I do not fear it, even so. What training makes you so qualified? I have studied the oldest lore. I have delved into mysteries of which you could only dream. Can you honestly tell me there is anyone better suited? What about you, Solus? No. Do not ask me again. Perhaps you're right. I am. You know I am. Are you sure you want this, Morrigan? We don't know what will happen. We do not, and yet it must be done. I am ready. If anyone is to use the well, it will be me. So you will take what little knowledge you can understand and let the rest go to waste? The Inquisition needs you. Corypheus still endangers us all. I am forever balked by those who believe they know better than I. Drink if you will, for the sake of us all, but steal your will to do it. I hear. Corypheus, a magister wishes to rip the veil open. I must learn how to stop him. If you can help me vanquish Corypheus, take whatever price you wish. Inquisitor!
It is done. I'm pleased to report we won the battle, Inquisitor. When you went through that mirror, Corypheus and his archdemon fled the field. I'm not sure why. What he wanted was no longer within the temple. Perhaps. He spent so long trying to get into the temple, he probably couldn't have helped his forces by that point. Then Corypheus is finished. If he is wise, he will hide and rebuild his strength before he attacks again. He will not hide. He won't hide. You hear it. The well speaks to you. It's voices, whispering from so far away I can barely hear them. Oh, if only one who understood such voices had used the well's power instead. Then we'd have to rely on her interpretation of them, and whatever she chose to tell us. Have I not been forthcoming enough for you, Spymaster? I told you what the well could have done, Inquisitor. You should be hearing shouts from the heavens, not whispers. Then help me. Isn't that what you came here to do? Earlier you said you knew what needed to be done next. What did you mean? The dragon isn't an archdemon. It's a dragon in which Corypheus has invested part of his power. Kill it, and his ability to jump to other bodies is disrupted for a time. He can be killed. That's no simple task. Corypheus alone is powerful, but where there's dragon... I need to summon Mithal. Whatever Mithal was, goddess or myth? There, an altar in the wilderness. That's where I need to go. I see you are determined. So be it. Are you certain of this? I don't think certain is the right word. I'll see to Skyhold's defenses in the meantime. <laughs>